So, welcome to a, a holiday, away day version of Everyday Ups and Downs. Hello. And uh, so here we are in the glorious sunshine of the Brecon Beacons. It's been rainy earlier in the week, but we're away on holiday. And today I thought I would try uh, and see how SmartGuard got on with a mountain. Uh, in fact, that mountain, which is Corndu uh, and Penifan, the highest mountains in the Brecon Beacons. So, uh, so let's have a look. So this is our plan. We're going to come down here on the 470 uh, to the Story Arms Centre here. And then we're going to go up the Story Arms Path, up here, to uh, to Corndu. And then if we've got enough energy, we might go over to Penifan. Those are the two highest in the Bracken Beacons. And then from there, we'll come back down here and, and then finish up. So it's about um, it's about 500 meter climb, uh, and it's a relatively easy route. Um, it shouldn't be too much, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, so we're going to get booted up, get some waterproofs on, take some snacks, and uh, and see how the day goes. So my day didn't start uh, perfectly. I uh, had a fairly active morning, and uh, uh, I uh, reduced my basal down with the temporary basal rate. And by the time it got to lunchtime, I was kind of running about nine or ten ish. Um, so I had some lunch, um, and uh, I knew I knew we were going for this walk in the afternoon. Um, normally, if I do a lot of activity in the afternoon, what, I, what I'll do is I'll reduce my 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 lunch dose um, to compensate. But I didn't really want to do that because I was running quite high. And by the time we got um, into the car park uh, to start the walk, actually I was, I was sort of 11, 12-ish. Um, so I set a slight temporary rate um, just to, because I knew the activity with the insulin on board would have an effect. But um, uh, yeah, it was, it was difficult really. I didn't quite know how it was going to work out. Um, uh, so let's see what went on. Here we go, last little bit, up to the top, and I'll check and see how smart guards got on. It's a, it's a, it's quite a view, you have to say, it's quite climbing, and on the other side, the Brecon Beacon's just drop away and you get to look for miles. There we go. A little bit of smart guard. 4.8 after a very steep drop, which uh, you have to say is quite appropriate. So yeah, not bad. Smart guard, pretty impressed. It did take a whole bottle of Lucasaid, and uh, I did have to set a temporary rate beforehand, but I'm pretty sure you helped out with your zero rate basal, perfectly timed. So thanks very much. So now we're back at the barn. I just wanted to do a little quick recap on uh, on what happened earlier on. So let's just have a look at uh, have a look at this afternoon's excitement. Um, so if we go to if we go to the six hour graph, you can see my morning wasn't ideal. Um, I had a fairly active morning, but I had a lot of basal backed off, and then this was sort of lunchtime here. And, uh, um, and normally, if I was having a really if I was doing a big activity in the afternoon, I, I might back um, back my uh, lunchtime dose 
off a bit, but I didn't do that because I just wasn't sure what was going to go on. So this is this is lunchtime here, and they were driving uh, to get to um, to get to the walk. Um, I was perhaps twelve-ish. Let's have a look. Let's ping backwards. Which is a bit high, really. I didn't want to back anything off because, yeah, I see 12.4, 12.6. It's a bit high for exercise, really. So I made sure I had, had insulin going. Uh, and then fairly soon, we started about two, quarter past two, I think. Fairly soon after the start of that, um, uh, level started dropping quite steeply. And then Smart Guard kicked in um, uh, before we'd got to, significantly before we'd got to the climb for the summit. Um, summit. <laughs> <laughs> makes it sound like Everest, um, uh, and then and then it just uh, carried on going. There was a lot of there was uh, Lucasaid and uh, and digestives being consumed at this point, and it, it is fair to say that Smart Girl would not have been enough on its own. I had carbs on board from lunch, uh, I had insulin on board, which was doing the work, um, uh, but there was just it was was not possible for Smart Girl to stop everything. Um, uh, but it bottomed out here around about four. I think I had a fairly big glug of Lucasade when I saw saw fours. So about a half a bottle there and a, um, a digestive or two. Um, and then I topped up again, I think, there with a bit more Lucasade and maybe another digestive. And then um, and then just about just about here was the last last bit of um, Lucasade. So that's a whole bottle. Um, and then some way on the way down, this is... Um, we're now coming down from the top of Kondu. Um, Smart Guard stopped. Um, I'd actually I'd set a temporary rate, a sixty percent temporary rate, um, just as we started the walk about two o'clock there, um, and then uh, and then Smart Guard stops automatically. My temporary rate is finished by that stage, so now I've got Basil starting again, um, and then it just sort of levels out and potters on nicely. Um, I, I considered setting a temporary rate again for the drive back, but actually Jane decided to drive back, so uh, so I didn't need to do that. So yeah, so that was it really. Um, Smart Guard couldn't have coped on its own, but uh, it was very handy to have a little bit of help with, uh, with those levels. Um, and it was brilliant to have the trace to look at uh, as I was uh, coming down from my uh, high start um, so that uh, I could just keep an eye on things and stick some Lucasade in um, in time. And Smart Guard also kicking in, uh, stopping the basal uh, in time and then starting it again to level it off at the end. So it was nice to have a, um, a little bit of a helping hand. Um, Smart Guard couldn't have done it on its own. But it just added a bit of finesse to my uh, to my efforts at uh, controlling things. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Mm -hmm.